Today we're heading up to the Matanuska Glacier. We're gonna go up there, we're gonna hike on in during the winter time. Hike on that glacier. And we're going out with the tour because they have really good guides in the winter time. And so they could take you places where they've already probed and checked out so you're not gonna fall through the ice or down into a crevasse. So this is a true Alaskan. Sure. Going down with no coat, no gloves, no hat. <laughs> <laughs> It's a tough Alaskan right there. Here we're going to take a ride to Santa Claus sleigh behind the snow machine down to the face of the glacier. And so it goes on top. And because the glacier is still pushing, all these ridges are actually the lake ice that's been uh, pushed up since October. And we'll get a chance to see these really close. Um, well, you don't want to stand under anything out here, though. So if you see footprints going under these things, don't go under them because they can fall at any time of the day. That bunny walking down in the crevasse here. There you go. Keep going down. There you go. Okay, let's keep going. Okay, back in through there. Pretty cool. Okay, Bonnie walking back into this deep crevice. Let's go take a look, see what it looks like. That's pretty good. I've walked on Glacier before, but not down in like this. This is really cool. Look at that back in there. Wow. Let's keep going. Oh, gotta slide around here. Pretty tight here. Almost sh shoulder width. Oh, yeah. Wow, look at that. That's really cool. Yeah, in the summertime, the summer hikes out here, you can't do this. Wow, look at this. This is really cool. Pretty tight there, huh? Okay. <laughs> Turn sideways, wow. This here is called a pressure ridge. This is where the glacier comes down and where it actually hits an area of land and it pushes the ice up and cracks it up. So you can see it's all just jarred and cracked and this stuff is all moving. In the winter time it moves about one or about one millimeter a day. In the summertime, it can move almost two feet per day. So this is a pretty active glacier for the most part. Today it's pretty quiet. We were on the ice back there and we felt and heard a big crack. So we kind of moved off that area and moving on to another area. So let's see what else is out here. It's a big piece of ice. <laughs> You can see all the silty mud and rock. It gets mixed up with the glacier ice. Ooh, felt that crack. It's moving. You hear that crack? It's time to move on. Going in. Oh, yeah. We can go here. All the way by? Well, that's about far in the long way. It's pretty tight in there. Huh? Oh my gosh. Too tight. Yeah, I wouldn't want to be here during the 7.3 earthquake. No. <laughs> no way. Ooh. 
Um, there are steps cut the whole way through, so the ropes are just to help you hold your balance. But what you want to do is look down for your footsteps. Each knot is tied almost exactly where you need to step. And the knots are so that if the rope's slippery, you can just have the knot help hold your hand. And you're basically going to have like hand, foot, hand, foot. And you forget to take pictures. Grab onto the rope here. Yep, and just look for your footsteps. Okay, step up on this one here. There's a bunny up to the Mulan. That's really cool. <laughs> Keep coming. Keep it between your legs if you can. There you go. Grab all the rope. There you go. Good. Good girl. That's pretty cool. Right on. I'm gonna head up here. It's a bit of a step down here. We'll just make it easy for us. There we go. You guys watch me see what I do, and if I fall, don't do that. Yeah, it's in the snow, just kind of slide down. It's a snow. brand new trail, so it might be another butt slide. Go ahead, slide down. <laughs> oh, that hurt! This is so cool. You just can't get back to these areas in the summertime. You can see where the water flowed underneath here and now it's frozen. So now we can actually go in and look at it. Wow, that is really cool looking. This is probably one of the coolest features here. It's nice and big. Wow. And all these dimples you see on the side, that's some of the melting from the sun and the heat in the summertime that's what the ice looks like in the summertime all around here like you see this vertical so this this piece of ice is turned 90 degrees when it, when it, when it was formed so you can see how active this ice is you definitely don't want to be here when it does it you see back up in there it's continuing to crack up through a little bit Pretty cool looking. Okay. 